Why do these people like playing with my emotions like this? Why do they like doing that? Me and my wife were just chilling, playing Mario Kart. And then I see this come across my phone and I say, whoa, 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 whoa hold up there, Pac-Man, buddy. Because two days in a row, you just, you, you just trying to bother me. You just trying to bother us, huh? Adam. I ain't gonna call you Pac-Man. Adam Jones. So apparently, Adam Jones was on a Pat McAfee show again, because again, you know, he's a, he's a regular on there. And instead of yesterday, because yesterday he let us know like, hey, don't forget about Baltimore when it comes to DeAndre Hopkins. So he let us know that that DeAndre Hopkins to Baltimore dream is still alive. Today, today, he sort of upgraded that a bit. He said DeAndre Hopkins to the Baltimore Ravens, he said it's a strong possibility. Strong possibility. He didn't say, oh, it's possible. He didn't say, oh, it could happen. He said, oh, maybe it might go down. He said it's a strong possibility. And while he didn't say those previous things, a strong possibility, I mean, all those things are included in the definition of a strong possibility. They just worked out a little bit more. A little dad joke in there. But anyway, this is nice. This is great. Um... It's, it's, it's sort of music to my ears. It'll be real music to my ears if, like, something official happens. It would be amazing. I, I, I would love it. I just saw my guy, uh, Nitty Gritty, put on Twitter, like, man, if, no, no, not Nitty Gritty, my guy, in Osei, I know I said his name wrong, but he put on Twitter, he made a really good point. He said, um, if the Ravens went from a group that had Devin DuVernay as their wide receiver two to a group that has Rashad Bateman as their wide receiver three, that would be a beautiful thing. That would be amazing. Like, that would mean they did some serious upgrading. And, hey, Ravens put it out there. They the ones that said it, not me. I mean, we've been wanting them to say it and wanting them to do it, but they say, hey, we want to revamp the wide receiver room. Okay. All right, cool. Show us. Show us. Show us what you got. But, see, with that, I, I would love it. I, I will love it. If it goes down, I will be very, very happy. Extremely happy. Extremely grateful. I, I Just all that good stuff. But then I'll be a little scared. I will be a little worried that, again, and we talked about this yesterday, but I'll be worried that somebody has to go. I'll be worried that somebody got to go. Because I would love if we could have our own version of what the Cincinnati Bengals got without having to do all the losing that they did in order to acquire that stuff. But it's all good. Even though with T. Higgins, he was a second-round pick, so he was sort of like a late first-round pick almost. But everybody passed on him, so everybody had a shot at him. But like with Jamar Chase, T. Higgins, Tyler Boyd, nice. But if we could have that, our own version of that, with DeAndre Hopkins, Odell Beckham Jr., Rashad Bateman, throw in Nelson Aguilar, too. Throw in Devin Duvene, too. Like, I would love that. I would love it. And you know what? The thing on top of that is, say, for instance, that happens. And say, for another instance, which hopefully doesn't happen, but say somebody got hurt temporarily. Whatever. Everybody, every one of those guys that would be one through, what, five, right? Oh, no, one through four. No, one through five. Because DeAndre Hopkins, Odell Beckham Jr., Rashad Bateman, Nelson Aguilar, Devin DuVernay. Every one of those wide receivers has starting experience, every single one. So if something happened, which we hope that it doesn't, and I mean, we hope that we get DeAndre Hopkins in the first place so we can have all these conversations, but if something happened, it wouldn't be like somebody, if somebody was thrust in the starting spotlight or the starting lineup, they'd be like, oh, wait, okay, I'm not, I don't know what it's like here, so I had you. No, all of them have started before. Now, all of them, they, they, some of them have started for much longer than others, and some of them have had much better starting experiences than others, but all of them have been there, done that. So when you've been there and you've done that, that helps a lot. That helps a, a whole lot. So I, I really hope this goes down. I, I, I really hope this thing happens. Um, but again, that's, what, that's the only part that scares me about it, that they won't keep everybody. And I know, like, even if, say, for instance, they do keep all the receivers, I know it, it's only going to be, like, a one-year thing. 
I know they're not going to keep, they wouldn't keep everybody after this year. I mean, Nelson Aguilar, he's on a one-year deal. Devin DuVernay, he's in the last year of his deal. Rashad Bateman, he's, uh, he will be on the second half of his rookie deal after this year. Odell Beckham Jr. is on a, a one-year deal. He ain't on a one-year deal. He's on a one-year deal because he got out in four years. But I think the Ravens, they, they're going to want to extend him instead of just having a bunch of dead cap if he doesn't resign. So we know, like, that beyond this year, this group is not going to be the same group. They're not going to all be together. And they're not going to all remain. So I get that. But give it to me for this year, please. Just for this year alone. And this would be them, like, really going all in. But I just... That, like I said, I'm just worried about that. I'm 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 worried about that. Like, cause again, I, I feel like it's gonna somebody's gonna go. Somebody. I hope it wouldn't be who I think it would be. I would really hope not. But you never know, man. You never know. So hopefully Ravens can work it out and they can keep everybody. Everybody can remain. Um and and Bateman, because that would that would be the one that I'd be scared about. B between Bateman and Duvernay. But hopefully Bateman could be like Kang and he'd be like, oh, he who remains. So I said, oh, okay, I had to throw that in there. But anyway, um, cause man, I just I, I just want like this team at its best. I want to see Lamar at his best. I I I want to see this offense at its best. We saw their best back in 2019, but that was their best back then. They've gotten better. They've grown older. They've grown more mature since then. Some people have came. Some people have left. And all in between. As you know, that's business in the NFL. But this team, this offense just has not been able to hit their peak. Last year, they had started off hot. They started off pretty good. And it was Rashad Bateman and Devin DuVernay as the one and two. So you just, again, imagine upgrading that. But how they started off. And now you're in a new offense, and an offense that's said to be a lot more diverse than your previous offense was. Man, like, it just makes too much sense. It, it makes too much sense for it not to happen. So I, I'm hoping that sooner or later, we're going to get that notification. We're going to see that tweet. Everybody's phone going to go off, and we all going to go crazy together because it's going to mean that the Ravens, they made it happen. But I'm just worried about what it will take to make it happen. But, hey, scared money don't make no money, right? Scared money don't make money, man. So you got to, if you want to get something, you got to give something up. Now, um, something that a lot of people have floated around uh, and the possibility of acquiring a DeAndre Hopkins. If it's not Rashad Bateman, if it's not Devin DuVernay, what about somebody on the flip side, on the defensive side? And I know so many people's prime candidate for being traded and to acquire DeAndre Hopkins is Patrick Queen. And that that would be that would be tough. Cause I know I know a lot of people don't, they ain't feeling Patrick Queen like that. I like Patrick Queen a lot. I, I love how um him and Roquan Smith, they complement each other. Um, and like we continue to say, before Roquan Smith got traded to the Ravens for the previous couple of weeks, Patrick Queen was doing his thing. He was being a lot more consistent. He was playing a lot better. Roquan Smith got there. It elevated them both. It elevated them both. They both, like, went off of each other. It was, just, it was beautiful to see, man. It was a beautiful thing to see. Um, but I, I don't – I think that's probably the last year that we saw it. I would love for them to, to keep Patrick Queen. I would love for them to pick up his fifth-year option so they have him for the next two years. But I, I've said this ever since the trade went down for Roquan Smith. I think that spelled the end of Patrick Queen with the Baltimore Ravens. And we have literally not heard a thing on this fifth-year option. They got till early in May to decide. And my opinion, this is just my opinion, because I don't know nothing from nothing, but I don't think it would be looking good for Patrick Queen to remain with the Baltimore Ravens, even this year. I, I just don't. But that's just me. I would much rather him, I would not prefer for him to stay, because I'm like me, I'm somebody, hey, the more the merrier. The more quality you got at every single position that you can have quality at, the better. But I could see this thing being an, an addition by subtraction and Patrick Queen possibly being uh, part of some package for DeAndre Hopkins. Or if, it, if not for DeAndre Hopkins, then 
possibly somewhere else. Because, again, Eric DaCosta usually does stuff early rather than late. So pay Roquan Smith, trade it for Roquan Smith, pay Roquan Smith. If he don't plan on paying Patrick Queen, then I know he's going to cut the cord early rather than let his contract run out and go, oh, we'll get a third-round comp pick. Nah, he, I don't think he's going for that. So whether it's for DeAndre Hopkins or not, I just, unfortunately, I don't see Patrick Queen being with the Ravens uh, past this offseason. I, I, ooh, please, hey, Eric DeCasa, let me be wrong, though. If you want me to be wrong, be wrong. But still get DeAndre Hopkins, though. So I, I would like to see DeAndre Hopkins in Baltimore, but then see Patrick Queen stay, too. And you, you get both without having to give up. But anyway, I, I, I know that's it's highly unlikely, though. So we'll just see how it works itself out. But anyway, that's that. So we'll keep waiting. We'll keep watching. We'll keep hoping. <laughs> see, <laughs> I see some people say, oh, man, I'm praying hard for this one. I thought you really over here praying for the other. He's going to the race. I said, all right, man, it's each his own, though. But anyway, I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. And like DeAndre Hopkins is soon going to be uh, when it comes to being – with the Arizona Cardinals, I was about to say we out, but one last little thing, one last little nugget. Pac-Man Jones, well, Adam Jones, Pac-Man Jones, that's fine. He, he was on the Pat McAfee show talking about the DeAndre Hopkins and strong possibility with the Ravens. But then later on, Von Miller. Von Miller came on there, uh, two-time Super Bowl champion, by the way. Von Miller, he came on there and he said, hey, Bills, are, the Bills, we could be getting a big weapon. We could be getting a big weapon. He started listening to Stephon Diggs, Gabe Davis, Dawson Knox. He started listening to all these different guys and whatnot. He said, we could be getting a big weapon. So, Von, Von Miller better not be playing with me, man. Just let him know. Don't, 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 don't play with me. Ravens, like, Bills, y'all y'all got y'all weapons over there and whatnot. Hey, we got some too now, but we deserve this. We deserve, after everything we done been through, we deserve this, especially after 2020. 2020 was when the Ravens, they tried for DeAndre Hopkins, but you obviously know how that went because they didn't get him. So we deserve this. We deserve DeAndre. We deserve Odell Beckham Jr. We deserve Rashad Bateman. We deserve Nelson Aguilar. We deserve Devin Duvernay. We deserve James Prochet. We deserve Tyler Wallace. We deserve everybody. And we're going to get him.